Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers. Welcome to Cricket Happenings. Here comes Rangana Ahirat bowling to Mehdi Hassan Miraz with Bangladesh out here to make history as far as the 100 test match is concerned. Just uh, two runs to win uh, for Bangladesh to make it their landmark victory in the 100 test as Rangana Ahirat coming in, passing umpire, balls to Mehdi Hassan Miraz. Mehdi Hassan Miraz has swept the ball through the square leg region and that's all over. It's a, it's a big high five for Bangladesh as Bangladesh have completed the landmark victory in the 100 test match here with Mehdi Hassan Miraz getting two runs. It's all over. Bangladesh have won the 100 test match and they become the fourth country uh, as far as test history is concerned to win their 100 test match. The others being Australia, Pakistan and the West Indies. And congratulations to the Bangladesh cricket team. They have fought hard and they have got a well-deserved victory today. The Bangladesh cricket fans would be rejoicing all over, no doubt about it. There is absolutely jubilant scenes here uh, in Sri Lanka with the Bangladesh cricket fans as uh, Bangladesh have knocked it off. They, this is the first time that they have ever beaten Sri Lanka in a test match. What a proud moment that is. And not only that, it has also leveled the test series. As you know, this was a two-match two test series and Bangladesh have done it. They have leveled the series 1-1 one, one, and it's a, it's a stupendous achievement coming and beating Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka. This is the first, this is the fourth away win um, as far as series wins are concerned. But it has taken 100 tests for them to go and beat Sri Lanka at least once in a test match and they did it to Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka and they leveled the series. So congratulations to the Bangladesh cricket team. Uh, a wonderful performance. Uh, one thought probably 191 to win. <coughs> with Rangana Herath who holds the record for the most five wicket holds in test cricket and Dilruam Pereira and the other spinners, Lakshan Sandakan. Uh, I thought Bangladesh truly, truly deserve credit uh, for doing it. Wonderful job. Well done, Bangladesh. That's the way to go. I'll be coming back. So right now I'm, I've just uh, taken you to the excitement, uh, but also I'll be coming and I'll be giving you a more brief on this uh, as to what happened here on the final day uh, at the Pisara Stadium here in Colombo. And uh, the second match that I'm going to talk about is India versus Australia, where Cheteshwar Pujara continued his good work uh, in the company of Riddhiman Saha. And Cheteshwar Pujara uh, became the, the person who, who, who faced the, um, 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 who, who actually was at the maximum time at the crease as Rahul Dravid was the one who actually held the record uh, for the most number of uh, balls faced uh, against Pakistan in Rahul Pindi. But here uh, Cheteshwar Pujara now holds the record for consuming the most balls in Test cricket as far as India is concerned. And his score, he, he scored his third double century in Test cricket to uh, make 202 with 21 boundaries, he consumed 525 balls. And but the other good thing for India was that Riddhiman Saha um, came. Riddhiman Saha uh, stood the test admirably to uh, notch up his third Test century, as he made 117 with eight fours and one six. And Ravindra Jadeja uh, actually went went to score a quick 54, as India declared the innings closed at 603 for nine declared. Um, thus taking a lead of 152 runs and Jadeja with some roughs created outside the um, because of the wear and tear and also because of his accuracy Australia were reduced to 23 for 2 at close of play on the 4th day thus making the 5th day very interesting and a definite possibility of a result unless Australia can actually draw this match as 129 runs are drift right now they have scored 23 out of those and they have still another 129 runs to make uh, to actually make India bat again and we, sh we should have a great game on hand here in Ranchi which is hosting its first ever test match. So there's a lot of excitement as far as cricket is concerned. So let's uh, first head towards as I said I'll be, I'll be spending more time on the landmark test match between Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. So today Sri Lanka resumed their overnight score with uh, uh, Suranga Lakmal and the very very uh, stubborn Dilruan Pereira at the crease. 
Dilro and Pereiro continued uh, his uh, stonewalling. At the other end, Suranga Lakmal also gave him good support. And this partnership uh, went on to uh, add a very, very valuable 80 runs. But in the end, it was to no avail. That is a different thing altogether. And then finally, Dilro and Pereira, after mm, making playing a very, very good hand, uh, the only way who could have been um, out could have been the run out. And, th <coughs> and that's what precisely happened as Dilruan Pereira was run out due to some good fielding from the Medios and Miraz and Shubhashis Roy. He was gone for 50 with six boundaries. Uh, he did his bet, but he could not uh, really continue. Uh, Suranga Lakmal was a victim of the Shakib lesson for 42 with four boundaries. Sandakan was not out on not, and thus the Sri Lankan innings ended at 319, thus setting the Bangladeshis on their landmark 100 test match, 191 runs to win. As far as the bowling was concerned, the spoils were definitely shared by Shakib Al Hassan and Mustafa Zur Rahman. Shakib Hassan going on to take four wickets for 74, three for 78 for Mustafa Zur Rahman, one wicket apiece uh, to Medios and Miraz and the spinners uh, Tajul Islam. As far as Bangladesh were concerned, now starts the real story of the day as to how, and uh, looking at 191 runs, especially considering this is the final day with two, um, uh, one of the great spinners, Rangana Herat, there in the mix. The captain himself and Dilruan Pereira and Sandakan, one thought that Bangladesh will find it difficult. But Bangladesh definitely, Tami Mikbal, they, they, they definitely need that experienced Tami Mikbal to thank for uh, for a wonderful innings he played today. What an innings from Tami Mikbal uh, making 82 runs. But talking about it, so Bangladesh started the chase of 191 runs in right earnest. But uh, Soumya Sarkar was really guilty. Uh, he was trying to attack. Uh, in fact, um, it was a very good ploy on the part of the uh, Sri Lankan spinner, uh, uh, Captain Rangana Herat, to bring himself on and Pereira not bring the pace bowlers uh, till such time he saw that that it was real turn. So that was the that was a good way to go. Uh, one thought as far as the captaincy approach was concerned. Uh, Soumya Sarkar was the first to leave uh, after uh, attempting a shot which probably was an aggressive shot that he attempted and he tried to go over the top and Taranga picked up the catch. So Soumya Sarkar, the first wicket to go as Bangladesh uh, were 22 for 1, Soumya Sarkar gone, caught Taranga bowl here up for 10 with two boundaries. And after that, Imrul Case nicked into the slips of the bowling of uh, Herat, Gunaratne picking up the catch. He was gone for not 22 for 2 Bangladesh. So it was not a good start and there was sudden, definitely, uh, there was sort of uh, doubts uh, sowing in the minds of the Bangladeshis. Tommy Mikbal uh, was there at the crease. Uh, he was actually um, uh, he was joined in by Sabi Rahman. And uh, what was and uh, this particular partnership really really helped things. Uh, with 22, uh, they kept a cool head, uh, not taking too much of risks. Tommy Mikbal was uh, looking mm, pretty confident at the crease. Uh, he was his 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 movement at the crease was very good. Uh, he knew which balls to go forward to. He knew which balls to go back and actually cut. He was very good on the pull shot. He was very good on the sweep, reverse sweep shot. And he was also driving superbly. And his cutting was also very good. And um, at times, he was also not uh, really shy of going and lofting the ballers. And uh, Tommy McBall showed some pretty good technique against the spinners. He played a very mature knock. At the other end, Sabi Rahman was with them. And Sabi Rahman uh, gave tremendous company uh, to Tommy McBall. Sabi Rahman also played some nice strokes as this partnership really started blossoming and started um, uh, taking the grabbing the initiative away uh, from the Sri Lankans. Uh, as um, that was a good partnership uh, which really set the tone for this Bangladeshi win. As 109 runs were added between Tami Mikbal and Sabi Rahman as the partnership went on and on. And Tami Mikbal, as I said, uh, was playing uh, with the utmost assurance and uh, he was n never uh, in any, any, any spot of bother. And then finally, uh, Dilruan Pereira took this big wicket of Tami Mikbal when Tami Mikbal was caught by Chandimal and Ch Tami Mikbal contributing 82 with 7 fours and 1 six and showing what ex how experience matters on a final day. Uh, Sabi Rahman was still at the crease but as soon as uh, Tami Mikbal his partner left, Sabi Rahman after going uh, doing a good job of uh, contributing 41 with five boundaries uh, had uh, was LBW bowl Pereira and suddenly there was a bit of a 
not of a, a bit of a niggle going on there. Uh, 143 for four, but Shakib Al Hassan was there at the center, another experienced bloke, along with the Bangladeshi captain Mushfiqur Rahim. Uh, Shakib Al Hassan and Mushfiqur Rahim uh, slowly pushed the score along to 162, and then Shakib Al Hassan uh, was a victim as Dilruan Pereira clean bowled Shakib Al Hassan for 15 with one boundary. Score 162 for five. Shakib Al Hassan departing. They didn't have much to worry because Mushfiq Rahim, the captain, was at the crease, and that was the that was the a sort of a refreshing feature for them. As Mossadegh Hussein, the debutant who did well in the previous innings, uh, came into bat. Mossadegh Hussein was very lucky; he was dropped by Rangana ahead of his own bowling. Uh, but Mossadegh Hussein, uh, it it didn't really uh, bother him. He really started really started taking the attack uh, to Rangana ahead. Of and he actually hit him for um, hit him for uh, two boundaries, and after that, it was Masada Hussain who uh, was a victim, caught by the Kuala Bowl Herat for 13, with only two runs required. And as I said, uh, Mushfiqur Rahim, as a cool guy, uh, as a captain, he remained not out on 22, and at the non-strikers end, as Marius and Miraz um, uh, created history for Bangladesh by sweeping uh, Herat down to the. Uh, through the square leg region and Medias and Miraz was the one who hit the victory run not out on two and that was all over 191 for six uh, Bangladesh winning the landmark 100 test match uh, by by four wickets and also leveling the series 1-1 one -one, and also registering their first ever win against Sri Lanka in a test match in their history and besides this was their fourth away win and congratulations to Bangladesh once again as I said 191 uh, was a big target according to me on the final day with three spinners uh, uh, really really uh, there and it's an experienced spinner that Rangana Herat who has the record but uh, one uh, what what one was what was good about the approach uh, from the Bangladeshis was that they knew the threat was against the spinners and they did not allow the spinners to settle and that was the key here as uh, even, even despite losing wickets they kept on going for their strokes as Rangana Herat uh, well, also, as I said, if you look at his figures, 24.5 overs, 2 made in 75 runs in 3 wickets. Um, um, Dilduan Pereira, 22 overs, 1 made in 59 runs in 3 wickets. They took the wickets, but uh, Bangladesh never shied uh, of really going for the target. And I'm sure they would have been pretty motivated by the fact that it was the 100 test match. And they went for it and they got it. They went for the juggler, one could say. Then in Jadis, 2 overs, none for 7. Sandakan 6 overs, 1 made and none for 34. Lakmal 2 overs, none for 7. And Gunaratne 1 over for 4 runs. The two match series was drawn 1-1. Uh, and uh, the player of the match going to Tamim Iqbal, which was the right choice according to me. And the player of the series going to Shakib Al Hassan of Bangladesh. So Bangladesh uh, fans would be absolutely rejoicing uh, um, in their in their homeland, no doubt about it, because Bangladeshis play um, play their cricket with a lot of heart, and they really love the cricket. And uh, Bangladeshis, well, um, really, really, um, uh, really great credit to them uh, for actually making 191 and crossing the line. Uh, well, they are, uh, so that's it as far as the India Bangladesh versus Sri Lanka Test series is concerned, um, as it's all come to an end here. And now uh, we shift on to the next match, which I said is between Australia and India. And the four days play uh, at the Ranchi Cricket Stadium uh, started off. There was a very loud appeal uh, to, to our Ritiman Saab. Pat Cummins was the baller, the very first delivery he bowled. Uh, it was a loud appeal, uh, but um, the review said that the ball was probably going millimeters outside the leg stump, just missing the leg stump by millimeters. And uh, and that was the only thing uh, that um, the, these Indians required as uh, Cheteshwar Pujara and Ridhiman Saha ducked themselves in in only the way they could and they started uh, wearing off the Australian bowlers and then uh, slowly uh, started uh, beginning their ascendancy over the Australian bowlers as they went past the lead. First they get all, got over the 91 runs, uh, Pujara went into his 150. Uh, Pujara continued uh, to actually block as he, as you know uh, he's now the rock of Gibraltar as far as because after Dravid was once the uh, the former Indian great batsman Rahul Dravid was once known as the rock of uh, Gibraltar uh, but now it's the rock of Gibraltar to me is Chiteshwar Pujara who scored as I said now holds the record for the 
uh, longest innings uh, in a test match and that belongs to him uh, as an Indian. And Pujara and Saha uh, really worked themselves well and Ridhiman Saha uh, also did a wonderful job, dug himself in and also played some uh, very nice strokes. He played with some, uh, uh, his driving was superb through the cover region and Chateshwar Pujara as you know uh, really defied this Australian bowling in the way he could and as you know Chateshwar Pujara is someone who is also always hungry for runs and always tries to score uh, the big ones. This was his third double century that he registered in his uh, short test history, short test career and what a player uh, Chateshwar Pujara for India is. He's, he's, he's someone uh, who is uh, really really uh, the real number one uh, for um, as far as the one drop batsman is India in test cricket and Chateshwar Pujara wonderful innings and what a partnership uh, it was a huge partnership 199 runs partnership between Chateshwar Pujara and Riddhiman Saha and Australians would have been definitely surprised to see Riddhiman Saha uh, do a wonderful job here and finally Pujara after uh, making 202 uh, with uh, and and also let, let us also say that uh, uh, Ridiman Saha just needed that one bit of life. Probably it was a lucky day for Saha uh, because what he did is Ridiman Saha actually was uh, dropped uh, by Matthew Wade behind the stumps of the bowling of Steve O'Keefe, and uh, Ridiman Saha went on to make 117. And then finally um, the breakthrough came uh, when uh, Nathan Lyon uh, picked up the wicket uh, of Chateshwar Pujara out for 202, 21 boundaries. Ridhiman Saha was the next to go as Steve O'Keefe, toiling hard, finally got his uh, wicket as Ridhiman Saha identically playing a, a, a stroke which uh, Cheteshwar Pujara tried against Nathan Lyon as he was caught by mid-wicket. Once again, Maxwell coming into the picture here. He picked it up uh, of O'Keefe for 117 with 8 fours and 1 six. And Ridhiman Saha notching up his third test century uh, Ravindra Jadeja came in obviously under instructions to go for the bowling and Jadeja that's what he took. He started uh, taking the spinners apart by playing some nice strokes and finally uh, Jadeja was doing his job but Imesh Yadav was out for 16 with two boundaries to the bowling of O'Keefe and finally Ishan Sharma came in and Ravindra Jadeja once he reached his 50, 54 with five fours and two sixes there came the declaration from the Indian camp as India declared innings closed at 603 for 9 declared uh, taking 152 runs lead uh, in the test match uh, and now uh, it was the uh, looking at the bowling well Cummins uh, definitely no doubt by any stretch of imagination the best bowler from the Aussies uh, truly deserved a 5 wicket back but nevertheless he ended up with uh, very good figures of 39 overs 10 maidens 106 runs and 4 wickets Hazelwood 44 overs, 10 maidens, 103 runs and one wicket and it has been a very hard grind for the Aussie bowlers. Uh, Steve O'Keefe um, has bowled the maximum number of overs here, 77 overs, 17 maidens, 199 runs and three wickets. Nathan Lyon 46 overs, 2 maidens, 163 runs and one wicket and four overs, none for 13 for Glenn Maxwell. Magnificent ball, um, I mean magnificent batting from the Indians, especially Chateshwar Pujara. And Ridhiman Saha deserves a great credit as well. So the Aussies were given a seven point, uh, almost eight overs uh, just before close of play. And um, Ravindra Jadeja uh, was the one. In fact, the Indian captain did not uh, bring his pace ballers on. He passed on the new cherry uh, to the spin twin, Sashwin and Jadeja. And Jadeja did not disappoint. Uh, he, he clean bowled David Warner with a ball that snaked through the bat and pad gap of David Warner and crashed into his stumps. That is a big wicket for India and Warner was gone bowled at the age of 14 with three boundaries. Nathan Lyon was sent in as a night watchman but it didn't really didn't work as Jadeja also clean bowled him for two had to leave the Australians in trouble at 23 for two. At close of play on the fourth day of the third test match between India and Australia of the Gavaska Border Trophy Series Matt Renshaw was not out on 7 with 1-4 and tomorrow Stephen Smith, the Aussie captain, would be walking in and uh, we have a real game on hand. As I said, the only possibilities, the possibilities um, of definitely a result, no doubt about it. Is it going to be a draw? Is it going to be an Indian win or is it going to be what's it going to be? Uh, India probably will face it but also let us also understand uh, that uh, on this uh, particular uh, pitch uh, right now, 
uh, it's the Indians who are going to bat last. But uh, again, uh, it's going to be interesting. There is a there is some rough that has been formed, and Jadeja is already showing that he's turning the ball from the rough, and also he's showing tremendous accuracy. And Ashwin is still to get on to his game, and I think the Australians would be hard pressed uh, to actually save this game. And I think it's going to be a bit interesting and uh, one, one probably at this point of time uh, one could probably say uh, that the Indians are the ones who are the favorites to actually get the 2-1 lead in this uh, border, graf uh, border trophy, border Gavaskar trophy series. Ashwin 4 overs none for 17, Jadeja 3.2 overs 1 made in 6 runs and 2 wickets. So we wait for the morrow, an exciting test match um, in prospect, no doubt about it, uh, whether it is India who is going to take a 2-1 lead in this test series. Uh, 129 runs still needed for uh, the Aussies to make the Indians bat again, uh, but uh, the, the roughs could get more pronounced as India bat. So it's very essential uh, that India uh, try to really can. Stephen Smith uh, could be a real thorn for India and Matt Trencher also. So I think uh, the key will be to pick up the uh, wicket in the morning uh, pretty quickly uh, and that would really uh, pave the way uh, for uh, for India. But uh, it's very important that they dislodge the pair of Matt Trencher and Stephen Smith uh, who could really prove uh, pretty, um, uh, pretty uh, tough, uh, tough nuts to crack as well. Well, dear fans, subscribers, it has been a pleasure bringing you uh, this uh, daily cricket happening show today, this on a Sunday. And once again, uh, I am going to sign off from this cricket show by congratulating the Bangladeshi cricket team uh, for actually not only winning the 100th test match, also uh, sh sharing the series with Sri Lanka. Congratulations once again, Bangladesh. Uh, you can rejoice. Uh, thanks and um, uh, thanks and... Um, also, uh, for keeping company on this Cricket Happening show, dear friends and subscribers, this is your host, Ram, signing off finally this on a Sunday. Thank you.